Now, here is Katie to begin today's program. Hi, I'm Katie Souza, and you're watching Healing Your Soul, Real Keys to the Miraculous. Last week, you learned about how to get healed of all the wounds in your soul that were causing you and your family to catch every sickness that might be going around. Well, this week, we're going to be talking about getting dominion over regions of land. How many of you have ever received a word that you were going to take your neighborhood, your city, or even your nation for Christ? How do you cultivate that kind of regional anointing? Believe it or not, you do it by getting your soul healed. When I first learned about the soul, I was touring the United States, teaching that revelation. And every time I went to a new state or location, I would get sick. Pretty soon, God showed me that I had wounds in my soul that were in common with the regions of land I was ministering in. As I got those wounds healed, my regional anointing began to increase, and I stopped getting sick. Then I started seeing more miracles happening in my meetings. Many of you have been called to start a healing ministry inside your church, or, or take the drug-infested neighborhood of your city, or to preach the gospel around your country, or even around the world. Let me tell you, the key to success in this pursuit is getting your soul healed. Then you will carry a powerful regional anointing. And in this program, we're gonna talk about how demonic influence can gain access to your life if you have a wound inside your soul that's in common with that spirit. Listen to what Jesus says in John 14, okay? He says this, I will not talk with you much more, for the prince, the evil genius ruler of the world is coming, and he has no claim on me. Now listen to this, he has nothing in common with me, he has nothing in me, that belongs to him, so he has no power over me. Think about it. Amen. Jesus saying, look, Satan's coming, but I don't have anything in me that's in common, so he has no power over me. There was nothing in Jesus' spirit. There was nothing in Jesus' soul. There was nothing in Jesus that was in common with the enemy, and that is why the enemy had no power over him. He came as a man. He came as a man. And he's showing us in this statement how we as men can have total power over the enemy. We will when we have nothing in common with the enemy. Let's go back to Mark 5 again, amen? Now we're gonna look at the man who was the demoniac in this story, who was completely under the control of Legion, and we're gonna see why that was. And I'm gonna show you, it's because of what was in his soul. Verse three, it says that he, quote, was dwelling among the tombs, dwelling among the tombs. What does that mean? If you look up that word dwell in the Greek, in the Strong's, here is the uh, meaning of the word listen. It's a metaphor for divine powers and influences that are said to dwell in the soul, to pervade, to prompt, and to govern it. That man was under the control of legion because he was dwelling among the tombs. He was dwelling out of the woundedness of his past, and that gave legion the right to pervade, to prompt, and to govern and control his soul and the rest of his being. I want to talk about dominion over regions because Jesus is priming the body of Christ to take the world. Amen. How do you do that? One of the biggest ways to take the world or to take your house or to take your neighborhood or to take your city or to take the prison that you minister in or to take the homeless place that you go and, and bring food and prayer to the homeless, one of the greatest ways to have dominion in all those places that you are trying to minister in is to get your soul healed. If you want a regional anointing, if you want to possess dominion over your specific region that God has assigned you to, be it a prison or a homeless area or whatever it is, 
One of the greatest things you can do to get that regional anointing is to get your soul healed. Because see, over different regions of land or buildings or churches or prisons or neighborhoods or gang-related places that you might want to go minister to in, over those places are regional spirits that have been assigned by Satan to guard those regions. To make sure that you can't succeed. They're there to guard those regions and to control and to affect and to disease and, and destroy the people that live in those regions. That is their assignment. If you want to get regional and international dominion, you need to get your soul healed. And I'm going to show that to you right now. Let's look at Jesus' example because Jesus was a region taker. All right? Let me prove to you that he was and how he did it as a man. Remember, we discussed that Jesus came as a man, that he set aside, he stripped himself of all rightful privileges to come as completely man, which means he had a body, soul, and spirit just like us. But the difference between us and Jesus is Jesus' soul was perfect. The Bible says he had no sin. Sin wounds the soul. So he had no wound inside his soul. That was in common with spirits. Spirits always said that to Jesus. Oh, Jesus, what is there in common between us? Don't torment me. They recognized that Jesus had nothing in him that was in common. So they had no power over him. Rather, he had power over them, even though he came as a man, which means we can do it too. But Jesus was a region taker. And let's look at that. Mark 5. I'm going to start in verse 1. This is the story of Legion again. It says, they came to the other side of the sea to the region of the Gerasenes. So where's Jesus going to minister right now? A region, isn't he? He's going to a region. And it says, as soon as Jesus got out of the boat, there met him out of the tombs a man under the power of an unclean spirit. So Jesus goes to minister specifically on a region of land called the region of the Gerasenes. And as soon as he steps out of the boat, what met him? A regional demon named Legion. How do I know that? The Legion spirit that was on that demoniac was a regional spirit. Listen to what he says in verse 10. That it says that he kept begging Jesus urgently not to send them himself and the other demons away out of that region. Did you hear that? Why is Legion begging Jesus not to send him out of the region? Because Legion is a regional demon that was assigned to guard and to take control of the region of the Gerasenes, and all the people in that region to afflict those people, torment them, to bring sickness, disease, and disorder and lack on all the people in that region. When Jesus stepped out of the boat onto a region, this regional demon met him. Why? Because Jesus went. He just stepped. It says as soon as he stepped out of the boat onto that region, there's the regional demon legion. Why? Because Jesus was an intruder. He just stepped on Legion's region. That's a tongue twister. What? What would give Legion the right to be over that region? I pulled it off. Really, what gives him the right to be there? It's the wounds in people's soul that live in that region. Let me prove it to you. We're still in Mark 5. Do you remember what happened when Jesus allowed Legion to go out into the pigs and then the pigs went crazy because that's what Legion does is it makes you lose your mind and they actually committed suicide and they went and drowned themselves and then all the pig herders like freaked out and they, it says that in verse 14 that they ran off and they reported to the town and the countryside and to all the people what had happened. And then those people came to see Jesus. And then that's when they saw the man possessed by the legion of demons sitting there dressed and in his right mind. And then they it said that those who had seen it told the people what happened. 
to the demon-possessed man and to the pigs as well. And then this is what the people said to Jesus after they saw all that, how the pigs had died, the man was delivered of this regional spirit. And this is what the people said to Jesus, the people that lived in that region. They said, Jesus, leave our region. Okay, think about it. Where would you hear that before? They're saying to Jesus, Jesus, leave our region. Well, didn't Legion say to Jesus, Jesus, don't send us out of the region. Who's talking to Jesus both times through the people? Legion. He's talking to Jesus through the demoniac saying, don't send us out of the region. This is where we've been assigned to. And then he's talking through those people. We don't like you here. Leave our region. This is our region. They're saying the exact same thing, aren't they? So it was Legion that was talking not only through the demoniac, but through the people that lived in that region. Sounds like the demoniac was not the only person that was dwelling among the tombs. The rest of that people of that region were also dwelling among the tombs. Now remember, because the demoniac was living amongst the woundedness of his past, dwelling amongst those wounds, that's why Legion had the right to afflict him. Now imagine what would happen if everybody in that region had tombs in their soul. And they're all dwelling among the tombs, which means Legion has a right to be a regional demon with regional impact and regional control. Guess what? Everybody in this region has wounds in their soul. Everybody in the region you're going to minister has wounds in their soul. Everybody in the world is dwelling among the tombs to some degree. And that's why spirits like Legion have the ability to be empowered to control regions of land all over the earth. Because they have stuff. People in those regions have stuff in common with regional spirits like Legion. But it just takes people that are healed in their soul to change a region. In this case, it only took one man, Jesus Christ, to drive out a regional spirit. He removed legion from that land. How did he do it? What did legion say to him? Oh, Jesus, what is there in common between us? I solemnly implore you, do not torment me. Because Jesus had nothing in his soul that was in common. He was able to have dominion over a regional spirit and remove him from a region of land. Do you understand that? Are you worn out and wounded by never-ending storms? Is something hindering you from your destination? Katie's brand new resource, Legion Slayer, teaches practical principles that will bring you victory. For more than a decade, Katie Souza has studied the supernatural secrets hidden in the Bible. Her insights and understanding have helped thousands of people just like you find freedom. Dwelling on the pain of your past allows demonic spirits to afflict every area of your life. In the Gospel of Mark, Jesus encountered a demon-possessed man who was tormented by a legion of spirits, but Jesus set him free. In Legion Slayer, Katie gives you the same keys that Jesus used to deliver that man from oppression. Step into a healthy mind and body, successful relationships, and a joyful life. For a simple gift of just $59, you'll receive Legion Slayer, a powerful three-part audio teach. You will learn how to eliminate the negative self-talk in your mind and win the battle against the spirit of Legion. When you call or go online right now, we'll also include the Legion Slayer Soak CD with music by Janie Duvall, a powerful worship experience that breaks you free from Legion's hold. Call or go online now, 1-800-789-7895 or go to katiesouza.tv. Don't lose the battle against the spirit of Legion. Don't let depression, disease, or anxiety win. Learn how to defeat the spirit of Legion with Legion Slayer. Act today and get this revolutionary resource. Call 1-800-789-7895 or go to katiesouza.tv. We've desperately got to get healed in our souls. Because we are called not to just sit here in this church and listen to a message, but to take it and to go out and to literally take the world. 
You're going to take your home, take your neighborhood, take the homeless area, take the gang-ridden place. You're going to take the prison you're ministering in. You're going to take your city. You're going to take your state. You're going to take a region. You're going to take an international, a continent for Jesus Christ. But as soon as you step out of that boat on the region of the whatever, a regional demon will meet you, but you will be able to pound him if you have nothing in your soul that's in common with him. Amen? I'll just give you an example. I went on tour to Oklahoma, and the night before my first session, I had a dream. I had a dream that I was cooking methamphetamines. Now, some of you know my history, some of you don't, but when I was on the streets, before I went to federal prison, I was a meth cook. That was one of my many sins that I, that I participated in. It was one of my charges that I got charged for when I, they gave me 13 years in federal prison for cooking methamphetamine. Well, I had a dream about it. Now, at that point, I, you know, I, that was like a decade ago, over a decade ago, that I had cooked meth. I had repented many times since then. But you know that cooking meth is a sin, you think? And what wounds your soul? Sin can wound your soul. So when I had that dream, I was already understanding this revelation about the soul. And I thought to myself, God is telling me that my sin of cooking meth has left a wound inside of me. Now, I want to repeat that. I had had repented many times for that sin, but we don't understand. We have been applying the blood to our sin, but we didn't understand about dunamis coming from the resurrection. We didn't understand that we need to apply that to just like we apply the blood because we're baptized into Christ. We go down in death at the cross, but up to new life at the resurrection. We need both. And I had never commanded my soul to be filled with dunamis in connection with those wounds that came from the sin of cooking meth. I didn't even realize before that my soul was wounded from that. I just thought I just needed to repent. But obviously God was telling me, no, there's a wound there. And you need to put dunamis on it. So I woke up from that dream and I began to command my soul to be healed. And it took about 15 minutes of me just focusing on it. Amen. And after about 15 minutes, I, I saw a vision. I saw a lightning strike. And I knew I had gotten healed. I felt the difference, and I knew it. And I said, God, why a lightning strike? And he goes, well, I had to cauterize the wound. <laughs> right? So I got healed, and as I'm driving to the event, I'm thinking to myself, wonder why now? Why God is showing me that now, all of a sudden, out of the blue? God is always perfect in his timing, amen? So I go to the event. I walk in the room. And as I walk in this room, I could smell in the spirit the chemicals used to cook meth. And believe me, I know what they smell like. And I was like, what is that? That can't be coincidence. No way. So I went to the hostess of the meeting, and I told her about my dream. And then I said, do you know, when I came here today, I could smell the chemicals used to cook meth in the room. Do you know anything about that? And she goes, well, just so happens that when we first rented this building, the police told us that this very room was used as a meth lab. Think about it. Think about it. What's God doing? He's doing me a favor. That's what he's doing. He's showing me grace and mercy. He showed me before the event what was in my soul that was in common with that region that I was going to. He showed me what was in my soul that was in common with that building that I was going to be ministering in. Now, if I didn't know that, I'd walk in there and I'd be like, oh, oh what's going on in the spirit, man? I just like resistance. It's, all this stuff is happening. What is it? And you know, and you're doing this and well, send out angels and plead the blood. Let's anoint the place with oil. What is it? It's your soul. And God showed me what was in my soul that was in the way of me having total dominion there. And he healed it. And so from that point on, I had nothing in me that was in common with the spirits that were over that building. So I had power. I had power. That's what the Bible said. John 14. This, the prince of this world is coming, but he has nothing in me that's in common with him. So he has no power over me. And miracles began to break out in that meeting. See, people want to know how to be supernatural and have miracles break out in their meeting. Get healed in your soul. Get healed in your soul of anything that's in common with the building, anything that's in common with the peeps, anything that's in common with the region, you're going to start to see miracles. You know, I see people going into prison ministry, 
and they get their behinds kicked. Why? They have such a heart for prison ministry. Maybe it's even an ex-drug addict or somebody who did prison time in there. They want to go back in and save their buddies and, and bring the you know, gospel of Jesus Christ to the prison. And that's awesome. And then they go in there and it's hard as a rock. And they can't make any headway. Why? Well, if you're an ex-drug addict, let me think. Hmm. Sin wounds the soul. You have wounds in your soul now that's in common with practically every single person in that facility. Gee, I wonder why you're having a hard time. Do you understand what I'm trying to say to you? We've got to get healed in our soul of, of, of the stuff that we have in common with the region that Jesus has assigned us to take. Amen? You understand? Okay, and then one more point, and then we're going to go. You, have you ever, have you heard the horror stories about people going like on missions or, um, you know, going overseas or going, you know, maybe evangelizing, going from state to state and getting really, really sick. How many of you heard those horror stories? It's true. I, I know firsthand that's what happens when you go out on the road, when you go to a new region to minister, a new church you've never been to before, um, a new state you've never been to before, a new region that you've never been to before. Because what does it say in Mark 5? That as soon as Jesus got out of the boat on the region of a, the Gerasenes there met him, a regional demon named Legion. You see, those regional demons are assigned to guard their region, to torment and to afflict all the people in their region. And they don't want you coming in. So what they do is as soon as you step out of the boat, or the plane, or the car, or however you got there, they're going to meet you there. And what are they doing when they meet you there? They're doing a Psalm 143. They're going, they're going to pursue and persecute your soul. They, the way they stop you is they make you sick. And the way they're able to make you sick is they find a tomb or a wound in your soul that gives them the legal right to do so. And that's why so many missionaries and evangelists and people that are going and doing new ministries, going into prisons or homeless areas or whatever else, are getting sick and even dying. They're dying. People are dying on the mission field. They get cancer and they die. Because we're stepping on a region of land and a regional de that we've never stepped on before, and a regional demon meets you, sees what? tombs you have in your soul, what you have in common with it, and then it makes you sick and tries to kill you because the devil has come to steal, kill, kill, and destroy. Now, I'm not trying to scare you. <laughs> but you know what to do now. I can't tell you how many times I've been attacked as soon as I stepped out of the boat or the car or the plane onto the region of whatever? I go to a new, I, in the, I went to a new region every week. In the beginning, I went to, on tour from one state to the next to the next. And every time I stepped in a new place, a new wound would come up. A spirit would come and it would find something else that I had in my soul that was in common with that particular region. And then it would make me sick. And then I would go to the next region. And, and then it would find something that I had in my soul that was in common with that particular region. And then it would make me sick. And I would battle these fierce sicknesses. But you know what? Every single time, I got it. Every single time, I got it. I just put the blood and the dunamis power on my soul. I just prayed for my soul. And sometimes the battle would be one day, two days, sometimes three days, sometimes four days. But in the end, I'd always get it. I would get it every time. And you know what? In the end, Satan and his peeps were doing me a favor because they were showing me all the stuff in my soul that I didn't even know existed. And so every time it would come up, I'd get attacked, I'd get it healed, and then the next one would come up, and that meant my soul was getting more and more and more power, more strong, more healed, more anointing, more miracles, more signs and wonders. I'll tell you what, if you want to get healed really fast, go on tour with us. <laughs> or go home to a family reunion. <laughs> but now you know what to do, amen? Are you starting your own ministry? Or maybe you're a traveling evangelist or a missionary going out in the missions field. Right now, I'm going to pray for you. Lord Jesus, 
I ask that you would heal them in their soul of every wound that they have in common with the regions of land that they're ministering on. Saturate their soul, Lord, with the blood of Jesus. Fill up every wound with dunamis power so that they can be excellent of soul. I decree that when they step out of the boat onto the region of land that they are ministering in, that they will be healed in their soul of everything they have in common with the spirits over that land. And Lord Jesus, I ask that you would continue saturating them with your blood and your dunamis until they are completely healed of everything that would block the success of their mission. In Jesus' name I pray this, amen. Are you worn out and wounded by never-ending storms? Is something hindering you from your destination? Katie's brand new resource, Legion Slayer, teaches practical principles that will bring you victory. For more than a decade, Katie Souza has studied the supernatural secrets hidden in the Bible. Her insights and understanding have helped thousands of people just like you find freedom. Dwelling on the pain of your past allows demonic spirits to afflict every area of your life. In the Gospel of Mark, Jesus encountered a demon-possessed man who was tormented by a legion of spirits, but Jesus set him free. In Legion Slayer, Katie gives you the same keys that Jesus used to deliver that man from oppression. Step into a healthy mind and body, successful relationships, and a joyful life. For a simple gift of just $59, you'll receive Legion Slayer, a powerful three-part audio teach. You will learn how to eliminate the negative self-talk in your mind and win the battle against the spirit of Legion. When you call or go online right now, we'll also include the Legion Slayer Soak CD with music by Janie Duvall, a powerful worship experience that breaks you free from Legion's hold. Call or go online now, 1-800-789-7895 or go to katiesouza.tv. Don't lose the battle against the spirit of Legion. Don't let depression, disease, or anxiety win. Learn how to defeat the spirit of Legion with Legion Slayer. Act today and get this revolutionary resource. Call 1-800-789-7895 or go to katiesouza.tv. Next week, I'm going to teach you something very basic. But I'm going to show it to you from a whole new perspective that's going to blow your mind. We're going to talk about the sin of offense and how it not only wounds your soul, but then it allows all kinds of diseases to come upon your physical body. When you hear this revelation, you're going to be shocked and possibly more offended. See you next week. For information on events, products, free videos, blogs, and even more, log on to my website, katiesouza.com.